right before we get into this unboxing and review of this headphone set a quick disclaimer i didn't actually buy this sahara gaming actually sent it to me so it didn't cost me no money and the other thing i want to tell you before we get into the unboxing i had a hell of a job trying to find this on uh, amazon.co.uk yeah i had to find it on youtube first i watched a video on youtube only a short one and then i clicked on their link in the video description so that i could find it i just couldn't find it i've done searches for it i've done searches for sahara gaming and it just wouldn't come up come up with all the other stuff but that wouldn't come up in pro 5 and all that it just would not come up but anyway i found it and i've stuck some links in the video description in case you want to go and check it out so with that should we get on with it first things first so this is Sahara's Gaming Pro 5 hasn't been out that long as far as I understand and it cost at the time of making this video just under £40 so not too expensive and it's turned up just in the right time as well because my old set I have Hyper X's and they are worn out I've had them for years and they really need replacing so Sahara Gaming sent me this like I said and I'm very pleased with it well I'm very pleased that they sent them to me. I'm not saying I'm very pleased with the actual product because we haven't actually tested it yet. It turned up with a little bit of damage on the box, as you can see there. Nothing to do with me whatsoever. That's how it came. It came wrapped up in a bag, and obviously it's got a little bit of damage on it. One of the things I liked about this, it says on their website, it says you can wear these for eight hours plus. So they should be very comfortable. Well, it's one thing I do like is a very comfortable headset. And obviously, quality of sound as well. So uh, with that, should we do the unboxing? Right, let's have a quick look around the box. So like I said earlier, Pro 5, Sahara Gaming, a barcode on one side on the model number pro 5 underneath caution this will be no longer guaranteed to performance or warranty if the user attempts to inspect or modify this product well hopefully you won't be doing that anyway uh, some information down there if you want to have a look you best pause it right now and that's about it same warning on there as well so yeah nicely packaged by sahara gaming as always do like their little logo by the way that little baby there right let's get her out get that we need to see how good this little headset is or how bad they are hopefully they're good right a little bit fiddly for getting out so you have a jack plug connection and a usb connection do this velcro thing all right nice long lead actually the breeding on it looks and feels very good looks so looks it's not going to break that's what you need so yeah that looks fine quite happy with that feels like plastic obviously it is plastic feels like a button doesn't it or looks like a button but it ain't so yeah, first impressions, yeah, it looks very nice. It's adjustable. These go up and down for different size heads. So hopefully it'll fit my head. So yeah, like the logo inside as well. Yeah. So hopefully they won't make your ears sweat because that's one thing I don't like neither is having sweat ears. So uh, yeah, they look pretty good. Like I said, the cabling on it, I thought was good always good looking at it does feel like good quality cabling that's about it really isn't it so uh right we're gonna have to test it now but right, while i'm testing them out there's a couple of things i want to go through with you because i think you might find it actually interesting and one of them is they sent me an email telling me why they actually made these and the purpose of them so they're looking at producing the best quality sound you know obviously at a budget because like i said earlier these are about 40 odd pound they're not that expensive they're not your 150 200 pound headsets these are about 40 odd pound so they are trying to produce quality sound and what they've done is 
there's no headphone adjustment for volume or anything like that because their theory is we don't really need it because if you're plugging it into a computer the computer's got volume adjustment if you're plugging it into your phone that will have volume adjustment or your tablet anything like that or even your playstation or xbox it will have volume control on it so they look at it you know what why waste money and stick something on there that you're not going to be using anyway which i thought was a really good idea and actually makes sense and a microphone if you're thinking well i want it with a microphone they have one coming out around about august 2021 i've been told they have a microphone an attachable microphone coming out for this so you can attach it for when you're sitting in front of your computer or whatever and when you're out and about and you don't want a microphone you can just unclip it like i said i thought that was a brilliant idea they have a patent for it in the uk so uh, look out for that like i said around about august you know maybe august september around about that time they assure me they're going to send me one out for me to do a test on and i will be looking forward to it so their main purpose is quality of sound that is what they're looking for and you know hopefully after i finish testing it it will be you know quality of sound so you might think well they look a bit different to normal yes they are designed to be like that they want to try and be a little bit different from everyone else because no point keep doing the same that is what they're telling me so i want you to point them out so with that what we're going to do now is tell you what i think about the music you know what i think about the vocals what i think about listening to other people talking on youtube and what i think about the sound quality on my gaming so uh, let's go on with it right a couple of things i want to go through before i tell you what i think about the quality of sound and one of them is i didn't test them for eight hours i've done it for about an hour and 15 minutes something like that also the ambient temperature in this room is about 20 to 21 celsius so it's quite a comfortable temperature and i'm in a t-shirt so you know i want to tell you what i think about you know how they fit on your head how comfortable they are but i will do that in a minute and you know i want to be honest with you and tell you I'm, i didn't do them for eight hours i've done them for about an hour and 15 minutes so i wanted to get that out of the way also i did say earlier you will have to adjust the volume i've got a shortcut on my keyboard i've got an fn key and a plus and a minus for adjusting the volume because when i plug them in for jesus that's a bit loud so i wanted to share you that bit of information so with that let's get on with it then shall we so music quality i thought the music quality was very good it had a nice bit of bass a nice bit of treble it wasn't overwhelming it wasn't too quiet it did seem the quality especially for music was very pleasant i really enjoyed the music quality of it and vocals i listened to one of my videos and i thought yeah that's not bad i had to adjust the volume because i think i had to volume up a little bit too much and it was a little bit distorted or it might be the way i just talk so i brought the volume down just a touch and yeah vocals and again they was nice and clear easy to understand it's my own voice anyway <laughs> so i should be able to understand my own voice yeah vocals i thought was very noise very noise vocals i thought was very nice and clear and vocals on youtube so i listened to uh, someone called linus tech tips and i listened to him and he sounded about the same as me so i thought yeah that's about right so i wanted to make sure it wasn't just me i needed to listen to someone else talking as well so i got an idea of what it sounds like and yeah vocals i thought was very good you have to bear in mind this or that is a budget headset just cost under 40 pounds and gaming gaming was very good i really enjoyed that as well i thought the gaming sound quality was excellent i could hear people sneaking about you have to again bear in mind these are only stereo surround sound they're not multi surround sound they're just stereo so gaming again was very good so all four music vocals vocals of listening to other people talking and gaming i thought was very good i really enjoyed it nice and clear could hear people talking and understand what they were saying and yeah music was very good 
you know, nice bit of bass, nice bit of treble. You know, and you might have software on your computer that you can turn the bass and treble up. I have, but I didn't touch it. I left it all at default. So I was very pleased with that. Now let's move on to the next bit, which is comfortability. Are they comfortable? I wear glasses, as you can see, and I thought, well, they're going to start hurting after, you know, 45 minutes of that because I've had other headsets and yes, they do start to hurt after a while. But they, or these, are very, I found these to be very comfortable. I put them on, left my glasses on, and at no point whatsoever did they cause me any problems you know, wearing my glasses, because sometimes you, they can dig in, can't they? So I didn't have no issue with that. Like I said, I found them very comfortable. Sweating. I know this is going to be something that people are going to mention. Like I said, I did not test them for eight hours. I tested them for about an hour and 15 minutes. And that material, I don't know what it is, but it never came out sweaty. My ears were not sweaty. And yes, again, that's very comfortable. Ambient noise, listening to noise coming through these, you can hear a little bit. My fans are quite powerful and quite loud, and you can hear them just a little bit. But again, ambient noise coming in, I thought again was very good because my wife started calling me. Oh, I didn't hear her. <laughs> so I had to take my phones off at one point. And yeah, what did you say? So yeah, very good, very pleasant. Now, are they worth the money? Like I said earlier, just under forty pound. Yes, I will be using these from now on. I will be replacing my old headset. I will. I'm going to actually throw them away, and I am going to be using these, especially when I'm listening to my videos when I'm doing my video editing, because sometimes I have to put headset on to uh, be able to hear the quality of sound and any background noise you need headphones rather than speakers but I do listen to speakers start with when I'm doing my recording and then when I get into the final bits I put it on because I need to do my audio editing and yes they are very good for doing that as well you can hear background noise on my editing and I think ah oh, need to sort that out so yeah well worth the money i did say to you earlier as well they are bringing out a microphone so if you want it set with a microphone check them out i will also stick a link in there to their actual website because they've actually got on their website they've actually got them with the actual microphone already now i think you can actually buy them direct from them i'm not sure how long they take with the microphone on, and I think it's around about £69. Like I said, we'll stick a link in to Sahara Gaming, and I will stick a link in to Amazon, and yeah, you can have a look, decide where, if you want to buy them. You can have a look, decide, you know, whether you, you know, you want to buy them from Amazon or Sahara Gaming. Again, I wish to thank Sahara Gaming for sending them. If I found anything wrong with them, I would tell you whether I didn't like them. Easy to adjust. Yeah, very easy to adjust. And like I said, I'm not going to keep going on about it. Unusual design N will not suit everyone. But I think they're all right. They're very comfortable to wear. I ain't got a problem with that. So, yeah, definitely get my thumbs up. Thank you, for Sahara. Thank you for Sahara Gaming for sending them to me. I know they was free. But I would always be honest and tell you whether I thought that was crap or not. And they're not. You know, there are going to be some people out there who say, oh, can I change the colour of the RGB? No, you can't. That is the colour of them. That is all they're giving you. They're just giving you a nice little blue. Well, I thought it looks pretty good. When you're on the edge, you don't really see them anyway, do you? So uh, with that, if you found this video helpful in any way, Please subscribe, it doesn't cost you any money, it's totally free and it does help the channel to grow. And please give me the thumbs up. So uh, thank you very much for watching.